Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about the Agent API and how you can build headless agents. Headless agents are made possible with the API and what it means is that you no longer need a traditional chat interface to run prompts for your agents. You can do this through the API, you can do this through systems that no longer have access to a user interface. So how does it work? The API is very simple and it's really dedicated to running prompts. First you authenticate, then you open up a conversation, think of it like opening a chat session. You run a number of prompts and we'll see that you can do this both synchronously or asynchronously. And then when you're done, you can close the conversation. What's interesting is that you can chain multiple prompts to enrich the conversation context. So you can ask follow-up uh, prompts when you get the first results in. Finally, you can also add optional feedback for, for the agent responses if you like to. Enough about size, now let's talk about the API and see what you can do. To get started with the API, head over to Postman. We have prepared for you a nice collection. The agent API is now available in here, uh, and I'm gonna show you how you can use it. This is a Salesforce developer's workspace where we share all of our collections, and I've created a copy, a fork of the collection, in my own workspace. I'm now in my personal workspace, and you can see here that I've created a fork of the agent API. The first thing we need to do is to fill up some variables. I will not show them now because they contain secrets, but the whole process is documented in the README. In short, you have to create a connected app on Salesforce.org, add your connected app to your agent, which is a service agent, and obtain the credentials of the connected app. And after that, you can easily fill the variables. So I've already done this here. And what I'm gonna do next is go in authentication and I'm gonna get a new access token. This authenticates against my org and I can start using the API. The first thing we need to do again is to start a session. Think of it as opening a conversation on the chat interface. So I'm gonna send this first request. With that, we'll obtain a session ID and this session ID is being saved in Postman so that we can reuse it in the subsequent calls. Next, remember I have two choices. I can then send prompts with a synchronous mode or send prompts using asynchronous or streaming. If I go for synchronous, this is great for backend operations because I don't have a lot to implement. It's just a long running HTTP query. But if I want to have something more dynamic, I should go for streaming and that's what I'm going to demonstrate today. So in the context of a streaming uh, request, I've already prepared a small agent that uh, handles courses and I'm going to ask my agent prompted to give me AI courses that last for two hours. So as I send this request, this starts with a regular HTTP request, which gets upgraded to a streaming request using server sent events or SSEs. SSEs allow us to receive multiple events on a long running connection so the server can send updates. And you can see here it starts with progress indicator events. These are custom loading messages as the time it takes for the agent to compute the response is a bit long. We were going to be sending custom loading messages. These can be defined at the action level in agent force. Then you see we get text chunks. Text chunks are fragments of the response and these allow us to piece the response bit by bit and to update it dynamically. This is a better user experience when the user is waiting for a long time. After a couple of text chunks, we get an inform message which contains the entirety of our agent response. Here you can see the recommendations, the AI courses that the agent recommended. And finally, once the agent is done, we get an end of turn event which signals the end of the um, of the, of the processing of the prompt. After that, we can end the session or even send multiple prompts and we can also submit feedback. That's it in a nutshell. That's how you can use the agent API to build headless agents. Remember that you can build uh, clients with any language for this. I've already shared a Node.js client for the agent API, but you can really uh, convert this collection into any kind of client. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've learned something today.